that they all they all had power over those people, right? Over those zoning commissions, right? But, right, it sounds like it, but when I see this group of other research, a lot of people are just like, so maybe this is a little, you know, the topic kind of gets big, but from my Hello, New Jersey. <laughs> I'm just slowly getting on here. But I thought I'd, um, I got a lot of research to do, but I thought I'd, I'd just go on it in a chat mode. Theodore, you know, uh, if you have any questions, I'll be here. But if nobody has a question, I'm going to keep working. I got a lot of research reports I got to finish for people. <laughs> and as somebody said the other day when I was down there, yeah, and I probably have to go up and comb my hair. But no, no, this is on purpose. This is. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's up? Uh, well, Dwayne, uh, I thought I'd just be on for chat here. Uh, if you have any personal finance questions that I can maybe direct you to, Sarah so, Syracuse. Wow, what's the excuse for being in Syracuse? Huh? Uh, but yeah, you know, if I could help, send you a website link or, or whatever, point you to somewhere that really can give you help that, you know, you don't have to pay for I mean, every resource I'm going to give you will be free. I mean, nobody's going to charge anything, but I do because that's what I spent my life doing 40 some years now. <laughs> finding people do stuff for free. There's so many of them, but they don't advertise and they're hard as hell to find on, um, you know, on Google, unless you're with your own name, Max, Dame, I miss the last couple. Tattoo removal in Florida. And you suggest Catholic charities crowdfunding. I'm doing Catholic charities right now and going to do 20 hours of volunteer work. Oh, that's terrific. So they have something like that. Huh? Wow. Oh, good for you, Max. Thanks. Can you send me an email uh, on that? Because I'd love to let other people know about that. Um, uh, and, you know, that would be, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's different Catholic charities all over, but it, it would be great to see that. So do you mind email me something? Uh, send it to. Uh, let's go free radio at Gmail. Yeah. And uh, if you have any more information about the office or whatever, uh, I, I, I love uh, so I can follow up and tell other people about it because that's a good thing to know. So if you volunteer, then you get free service. That's great. Quick question. I have an LLC for my painting company, but I've been saving my receipts. So how can I file taxes for my business? Well, I wouldn't have started an LLC to tell you the truth. Uh, but you could call the IRS, uh, call their 800 number and just wait online. It may take 15 minutes or something. Uh, I do it all the time to get real answers, you know, about how to do taxes. And that's easy enough to do. It just takes some time and patience. And that's why uh, for people that have patience, then there's people out there going to charge it 200 bucks to do that. And that's stupid. Uh, good morning, live on one of the business. Yeah. Uh, okay. So back in on, on that, then the other thing you do is go to your small business development center and that's Find the local one, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S, Americas, A-M-E-R-I-C-A-S, -E and then sbdc.org. Go there, Americas Small Business Development Center.org, and, and then uh, find your local one, make an appointment, they're free, and tell them you're just not sure about taxes, okay? Why do you say you wouldn't start? Well, I, I, it just already costs money, you know, and, and, and the key, um, I mean, you talk to a lawyer or any accountant and they'll say, oh, yeah, you got to do it. And, and you really have to do nothing except pay taxes. And it's easier pay, not to pay taxes with an LLC, but that's that's my biased opinion. So don't worry, you already did it. That's water over the dam. You just go ahead. Uh, uh, and you just go out and figure out how to put it in LLC. Otherwise, you just leave the money in your personal account and, and, and do it, what's called a Schedule C. 
Schedule C. And that's just like a PL. Okay, here's all the money I got for my side business. Here's all the expenses. And that way you could write off your, your house, your phone, your everything at home, your, your car. And this is the money I have left with just nothing. And you pay no taxes, okay? <laughs> because you're writing half your life. So that's another way to do something like that without creating some uh, LLC. People say you have to do that so people can't sue you. Well, if you don't stand by your work, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you in business for? <laughs> that, that, that's you know, one of the things I think of. But you know, uh, that's personal me. You have to do what you think is right. And, and there's you know, a million ways to get through this life. So don't rely on any one way. You have to trust your own self uh, on how to do all this. Oh, why did I get lost here? I was on that. Uh, okay, you too. Uh, let me sorry, I got it. I don't see my chat flying, so okay. Let me see where that is. Aha. Okay, live coming back, coming back, coming back, coming back. Okay, uh, I feel uh, on, uh, I feel you on that one though. Yeah, okay, Pox, Belinda, good afternoon. I'm in Charlotte, Pathers 10, Lions 10. <laughs> Good. Most of them are lying anyway. Uh, let's see. How have 10K? How can I grow it? You, you put it away as secure as possible. <laughs> uh, you're trying to do something like that to do anything? No. Uh, I think no matter what age you are, unless you're finished working, you invest in yourself. Unless you have too much money. Uh, and if you don't have too much money, um, just don't spend it. Just to spend it. Just don't invest it. Just invest it. Uh, do something safe. But again, that's my biasness. Yeah, we all have biasness and we all have to live on our own. This is just an option and, and one that I would choose because your best investment is you. You give that money to someone else to invest. They have all the fun and you have all the risk. That, that's not fair. <laughs> yeah. You save that for a rainy day as secure as you can. Buy a government bond or, or, or whatever. Something you don't have to worry about. And Or uh, save it for you... Uh, uh, um mr redbird haven't seen you in a while you still at google uh hi i'm on a 20 year old college student living with my parent hi i'm a 20 year old college student living with my... i don't really have much of a job uh how can i start getting my credit score up you know redbird i think you were weren't the fellow that talked to me about when i beat up google <laughs> you know google took that conversation we had off <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. I don't really have much of a job. How can I get started with a credit score? Well, you know, I mean, there's one thing. If you're, you're, you're in college now, right? Okay. Uh, and you have debt. You should be, there's two things to know. Uh, I think uh, I would right now, if you're worried about your college, your credit debt and all that kind of stuff you have, what you want to do is go to HUD, H-U-D counseling, HUD counseling dot gov. And you find the local counselor they're free so they'll help you you know tell you the ins and out uh oh you have no college debt good for you good for you so you don't have to worry about so that that that's the only thing uh you you have to worry about then now the other thing i would do particularly as a college student there is start thinking about what kind of real skills can you get uh uh, I don't know what you're studying, unless it's a real skill that, that, that could get you a job. Just a, a degree doesn't get much of a job anymore. And, and if you go to your local career one stop, they have programs there for six months, three months, you know, seven, ten months or whatever, you know, to get you uh, uh, training a skill, maybe in coding, maybe in, you know, uh, how to apply for grants for nonprofit. I mean, all kinds of skills you get. So I would I would check your local career one stop. It's a county office. Again, you're only looking for .gov or .org. Uh, nice to see you again. Are, are, yeah, let me know. Uh, Redbird, are you still in, in your job where you I, I used to see your name around? Uh, Tracy Henderson. Hello, I love your show and have a quick question needing to know the quickest way to raise your credit score looking to purchase a house. Okay, well, that is I mean, if you go to the uh, we are newly married couple. Uh, if you go to your HUD counseling again, that's what they are there for. They're free. They're nonprofit. Make sure you call up, you know, and, and make sure that, you know, there's no charge and that there should not be uh, for you to get, you know, one-on-one -on -one counseling with them to fix up your credit score and get you in charge to, uh, to buy.
buy a house. Uh, I mean, ready. Now, there, there's a whole bunch of places you also want to do as you go, whatever state you're in. Tracy, what state are you in? Well, anyway, whatever state you're in, you go to your state housing finance organization. So you live in Ohio, you Google uh, Ohio State ha Housing Finance Organization or whatever, and make sure it's a .gov or a .org. And they have a lot of money programs. Your, your, your county also has money programs um, to buy a house. And see, a lot of realtors won't tell you about them because they don't make money on them. This is where they give you grant money for free, uh, for down payment and everything. Uh, so there's all kinds of ways. Actually, there's now, you live in Seattle. I just interviewed, did an interview. I, I wrote up this item uh, about somebody who's giving you $50,000 to help you buy a house. No matter not who you are. And, and as long as you have, you use one of the bedrooms to make extra money on Airbnb. And then you split the rent that you charge on that extra bedroom with them. And in three years, you're, 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 uh, um your your bill is over you get fifty thousand dollars plus now you and, and you're making extra income and then you can make lots of extra income income for the rest of your life so consider that consider anytime you buy a house now you want to say hey is there extra room to use an airbnb because that's a great way of money uh to make extra money and there's a lot of ways to make extra money in your house and, and i have a uh, a download. If you go to lesco.com slash tutor, T-U-T-O-R, all in small letters, you'll see a report I have that there are 140 ways to use the internet to keep extra money coming in. And, and, and that's what that is. It's like 20 bucks for the report. Uh, Dwayne, I feel uh, on you on that one. Okay. I want to open a body piercing studio and I have a professional body piercer for home. I've been a Ah, I always wanted to open my own studio. I never seem to put the capital together. Yeah. Okay. Now what you have to do, there's two things things. What I would do is uh, make sure you know all the general programs in your area and their uh, place to start on that. You'll never get the whole list from one person. One person doesn't know everything, but your small business development center. I told you America's SBDC.org. Start there. And also, I, I think what you have to do about any kind of retail or whatever, look to see how you could do it without investing in all that nonsense. You know, because that's it. What's going to happen? You really don't know how to get more. Well, maybe you do because you're in the business. But see if you could go somewhere else. I mean, maybe you find a hairdressing salon. Maybe you find a barber shop. I mean, somebody else who has a personal care. I mean, we have nail centers, you know, coming out the yin yang where I am. You know, you have five on a block. You know, so maybe you get a room there and do your piercing uh, in one of these shops. So you eliminate the overhead. You eliminate all the problems. So uh, until you get big enough, you know, uh, to, to, to have your own, you know, and, and do it that way. So if you're going to go into debt or, or cause all those headaches that uh, you know, come from starting a, uh, your own kind of thing like that, man, you know, you're a, <laughs> that's a full-time job. You don't know for how many months, but if you find somebody, then you eliminate that risk. So now you don't have that risk. You don't have that burden. And you're wondering how you can get your own customers, your own clientele coming to you. And when that says, so uh, look steady. Okay, now I'll get my own place because then then it makes more sense. And then there's another way to do on crowdfunding. This is the way I show you my reports. When you if you order a report on uh, all the free money to help you get to start a business, I show you how to use crowdfunding money to do that because that's another wonderful place to do it. And even to hook up with nonprofit organizations or whatever that help you raise the money. So there's always more than one way uh, to skin a cat, as they say. Uh, bird, Red Bird, so you're no college set. That's terrific. And by the way, Red Bird, I remember you are a great writer, to tell you the truth. I really appreciate Ray. You're very clear. So you're spending money learning to write. I think that's the most thing you could, the most important thing you could learn in college is how to write, because that's the one thing you need forever. Uh, and you're not got to know how to communicate. So you do that well. Uh, if you have money to invest, why not invest in a crowdfunding venture? Uh, choose something that you believe in and invest in another person's dream. It is smart and is a good thing to do. Yeah, it may or may not be. Uh, if you're investing in other people's dreams, yeah, it's just how much? I mean, you can, if, if you save 10 grand and give 10 grand to somebody who has a dream, why invest in somebody else's dream? <laughs> Invest in your own dream because <laughs> they'll go bankrupt and then you get pissed uh, and you don't learn enough. And when somebody else takes your money and go bankrupt, you learn it more if you go bankrupt on your own. Uh, but again, that's a personal bias. Yeah, I've been watching your videos for a long time. I pop into your streams every now and then. I'm currently pursuing a multidisciplinary science degree in a, uh, in a program. Group. Good for you. And make sure, uh, uh, Red, 
if you make sure you go to your state department of higher education and they'll have a scholarship website there's webs there's money for people who want to be teachers so there's a lot of, we need a lot of teachers all the baby boomers that became teachers 30 40 years ago are quitting the business because they're retiring so they need more so they're trying to encourage people so make sure you you look at that even if you're not paying and not, have no debt that's extra money on top of anything else you have casey you say sound familiar casey um argue which is the best way to go as an llc inc or c corp or sole proprietorship well there's no perfect answer for that casey but if you uh, if you're beginning and everything just go with social uh, social proprietorship you don't know what the hell it's going to be you don't know where you're going you don't even know how it's going to wind up anything you may be bust in two months so why invest 100 bucks or whatever cost you some lawyer have extra paperwork and everything the most important thing is to, is to focus every minute of your energy on getting a customer. Don't worry about legal problems. Don't worry about taxes. You pay taxes, but you do it on what's called a Schedule C and you don't mess with the IRS. <laughs> they get everybody in the long run. Okay, so you don't mess with that. You do it as a Schedule C. And when you get bigger, whatever, uh, you don't even have to worry about filing with the government forms or you know, local licenses, unless it's some kind of personal service that it has to be but mostly not. I mean, worst case, it'll take them three years to find you. When they find you, then you file the form and pay the $50 fine. And if you're still in business three years, you'll have the extra $50 to do it. So don't worry about it. Uh, just go out and, and put every effort of your time, energy, and concentration in how you're going to get a customer because you are not in business until that happens. You talk to any other professional, what they want to do is spend you know, hours of your time saying how you, you need this for success, need that for success, and how you're going to, you know, you're going to have to pay a lot of taxes, all this kind of nonsense that means nothing about your business. It just appeals to your ego and, and, and whatever, and it, it goes nowhere because you still don't have a damn customer. When you have a lot of customer, a lot of money, then you worry about all that stuff. Uh, I signed up for $3,000. Uh, great look like I may get it. I don't know what that means. Uh, Jason, I signed up for a $30,000. Great look like I may get it. Oh, a grant. If you signed up for a $3,000 grant, you're not going to get it. If, if you paid money for it, I know you're not going to get it. <laughs> uh, nobody charge the real grant people that give out money for grants do not charge any money. You got scammed, unfortunately. You call your attorney general in your state office right now because you may have be able to get these guys. Uh, you're trying to find your attorney general's office. You just call 211. Make sure you uh, call the attorney general right now you know, and, and get after these gangsters, all right? Because not only will you maybe get your money back, but you'll save other people you know, uh, from falling into that. By the way, I just got a call from that the IRS, uh, I'm in trouble with the IRS and I better call some 800 number. IRS would never do that. Anybody calls you and tells you're in trouble with the IRS, <laughs> tell them to blow it. And, and, you know, if you can, you know, report them, you know, to the attorney general's office or just call 211 and ask them where they're reporting. Okay, good afternoon, Matthew. I was interested in starting a dog training business in New York City. There is a dog training school, but I don't want to apply for a loan. Well, now, you okay, there is a school. You don't want to try for a loan. Do you know how to train dogs? You yep. uh, know, and I think that's the thing. Uh, I, you know, I know everybody want, on these little service businesses, somebody's going to be making money uh, on how to do this. Now, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it, you know, but that's me. You know, a lot of people do, and I'm sure some do well and everything. Uh, but the main is you don't even know, unless you've been dog training all, uh, all the time and you know what it's done, you know how the business is, you know how to get uh, whatever, um, you can, um, uh, you know, maybe you're, you're better shape to do that. Uh, but until you understand how you're going to get business, it'll probably be a waste of money. Uh, and what I would do is there's a whole bunch of dog, you know, dog walking services and stuff like that. So I would start there. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. I mean, to me, learn how to train. Uh, uh, and you can do that trial and error. Uh, what you can do now is become a dying walker. There's a lot of like rover.com, uh, pet vacay. Uh, you look in, uh, I think it's care.com. There's a whole bunch of, and I, these are the people I have in my uh, report. I have a report uh, on the uh, pet care business. If you go to lesco.com, 
and under crowdfunding and, and a shared economy, uh, let's go.com slash tutor. I have a custom report on how to make money out of, out of the, you know, the pet industry is booming. So you're right, I think on there. Uh, but see, if you sign up for these platforms that are always looking for dog walkers, okay, so if you're walking dogs, they're, they're the people who need training, right? Uh, and, and so that's a way to learn the business, learn how people with the dogs, because you can come back from, hey, you know, if you'd like, I, 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 I think I could train your dog a little bit. And so you give them a discount rate or whatever on dog training so you can learn how to do it. So that's that's a way you know to learn by trial and error yourself. You 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 watch a whole bunch of videos on YouTube on how to train dogs, <laughs> and you're a dog trainer. You know? uh, and that's the way most people learn stuff. You know, unless people are trying to institutionalize them, and then it becomes a big thing. Then you need a PhD in dog training. You know, and that's really stupid. Uh, but that's reality too. Uh, so that's what I would look at. Uh, one, that download that report I have on lesco.com slash tutor about, you know, uh, in the pet care business, how that's booming and the platforms. I also have a bunch of those kind of platforms on uh, uh, 140 sources uh, of revenue uh, on the shared economy. So it's things like this. So you don't need a license. You don't need anything. You put on a, you know, a train. I mean, I, I'm a dog walker and, and help train your dog. So you do that. You say, okay, I dog, but for the same price, I help train your dog. So if you're looking for a dog walker and then all of a sudden you see dog walker slash trainer, wow, hey, that's cool. I get two for one, right? My dog's a pain in the butt or <laughs> he's a pain in the, the wet rug <laughs> yeah, or whatever it is. So that's maybe an interesting way to, to start it. Oh, let's see, we're getting, uh, okay. What states would you recommend young people live in due to high cost of living? Well, it's usually uh, the high cost of living states are the ones who really with the good jobs. <laughs> so the low cost of living states, you can't get a job. <laughs> so it, it, it is, it, it, it's, you know, it's a personal thing. I mean, to me, what I like are the bigger states that have more services. I mean, I'm, I've been studying social, all kinds of programs in various states. And I see, yeah, there's some states that have nothing. But there's other states, if you want to start a business, buy a house, you know, get an education. There's so many services, man, that are all free, yeah, that are worthwhile. So what you have to do is learn how to live low, you know, and, and, and not get an overhead. So you're used to living in a big house. Where, no, you get a hovel until you figure it out, you know, and you don't get an overhead. It's the overhead that kills you. Good afternoon. I was interested in starting a dog. Buy. Okay, got that. Me and my wife just purchased a home in Long Island. Very expensive to live here. Uh, I work full time. I teach part time at night for a second job, and she works full time as well. Wow! Then you got a uh, well. That, that that house thing uh, is what's killing you, right? Uh, so you can't undo that thing unless you sell it, and probably bought it too soon ago, and and there's not enough equity in it or whatever. So I would look at other ways to make money out, you know, or Airbnb, or there's other platforms now that you could store uh, stuff for people uh, in your house. You could have people use your car and make money for that when you're not using it. People that rent your garage, you know, for money. You, there's ways to make three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred dollars a month extra, you know, uh, because you have a home. And, and, and that's from using things like in the shared economy stuff. I mean, this is what's really growing now. I mean, I tell you about the, uh, the down payment money, they're given 50 grand, you know, if you, when you buy a house, as long as you take one room and, and use it for Airbnb. Wow. I mean, see, that's how much uh, the, the whole world is changing. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, no, sorry, somebody just beat me. I was wondering what it was. Uh, so teach part time year. Wow. Yeah, I, it, it's too bad, the, the, the house, but you got that, you got to live with it. What are you going to do? You find a, somebody ran out of room with you or something, you've been long term, if you can't use Airbnb there, everybody's hurting for housing. So you have too much housing. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you have kids, maybe it doesn't make sense. Uh, 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 have to be creative somehow. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we want to brainstorm some more. Uh, go to lesco.com slash talk, T-A-L-K. You know, I'm handling all these questions that, like on a machine gun here. Uh, it's hard to uh, think deeply, but if you want to think deeply, it's lesco.com slash T-A-L-K. And that's in small letters, T-A-L-K. Uh, 
Uh, that may help. Patrick Butler, it's getting tougher for someone to watch the children. So it looks like my wife is going to have to stay home. Ooh. Oh, that maybe make interesting too, because now what you can also do is, is take care of pets in your house too. If she's at home with the kids, you can make extra money uh, uh, house sitting for pets when people go away. A lot of people are doing that. Uh, uh, it's called Pet Vacay is one of the, I think they just changed their name. So I get, uh, um, I get confused. Maybe it's called Dog Vacay. And, uh, but around there, or that report I have, 140 ways to make extra money on the internet, uh, that that is, I mean, people make only 30 grand a year uh, taking care of pets. And so if you have kids, you're home all, uh, anyway, you know, so it's another way to make 20, 30, 40 grand, you know, uh, you know, uh, somebody else's bed. And it's not forever. It's sort of a couple of days when people are going out, they drop off with you. It's a nice, third. Uh, and the dog would rather be at a, at a home with a bunch of kids around than in some kennel that's like jail you know, for these people. Patrick, thinking about starting uh, on eBay, uh, Facebook, uh, let it go item selling businesses, buying items at large garage. Yeah, a lot of people do that. I have some videos on people who've done that and, and make a lot of, uh, uh, you know, make a good living uh, out of do that. So you can, you can sell anything on the internet. And eBay is one of the places. Test it. It takes nothing to test. You find some items you think, you know, you find junk in your attic and put it on there and, and see. So just to learn it, you know, uh, that's what's so neat about it. So you could start a store and it costs you nothing. And you do it uh, and, and see what happens. And you say, oh, that's not a good, oh, maybe if I, because doing something and failing leads you to something better that you should have thought the first time. But you can't think the second idea until you do the first one that's crappy. So you got to do crap first before you get to good. Uh, okay, thoughts about being a, a real estate agent as a career. I learned the industry if you want to become a real estate investor. Uh, eventually you want to become a real estate investor, hate the nine to five grand of rate, right? Yeah. Oh, I know, Sean, you hate the nine to five. I mean, that's why I could never do that. Thank God I found a way. I mean, it's ups and downs and everything, but at least you have control of your life. And, and, and that's what's neat. How to petition help on crowdfunding, uh, how to do petition help. I'm not sure what that means, but let me go back. Uh, well, real estate, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, a lot of people do that, I guess they like it. And real estate seems to be growing in this country, no matter what, uh, in the long run, and maybe not in the short run. Uh, and, and, um, so that can't be bad. But the other thing to me, what I would do is try to think of something more that you're really interested in. Unless you think if, if, if real estate is your soul and you really want to do that, and that's where you really think, you know, you're, you're, you, you would spend that, yeah, that you would do almost for fun. Yeah. Because if you're doing something for fun, like me, to me, I, I haven't worked in 40 years here. This isn't work for me. I mean, I, I love doing it. Yeah. So if you could start building towards something like that, you keep your boring nine to five job and you start testing these little ideas on the side and not spend money to do it. That's the key to think is that you never spend money uh, thinking of new things because you get an idea of like being a real estate investor. If you go on Google now and you say how to be a real estate investor, you, you're going to find you know a million websites. People can watch your money and guarantee you make a million dollars in real estate. Now that's just fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> at least in my mind yeah but again that's a biased point of view uh but it, it, it's you're not even sure you really want to do that you can't think of anything else so it, it's really trying to get the mindset open and start testing like the guy said uh before he wanted to try selling something so maybe you like something maybe you like you're a camper and and uh you want to be in the camping business because if, even if you're selling camping business, you love camping so what you could do is find things you know whether in china at alibaba or somewhere else and find stuff that's real cheap that you can do a website you know uh on amazon or anywhere else you know or, or even on ebay and and selling stuff that you're really interested in i mean you could drop ship so you don't have to you call up the, the best camping people in the world that you really like is, hey, let me sell stuff for you and give me 20%, you know? And, and so you're doing all the marketing and everything for nothing. And then you're only gonna get 20% fine. And then if it grows, if you figure out how to sell it, then you could figure out how to get 50% and then 70% and then make your own, you know? So those are the kind of things I would, I would explore before I look into three, four, five years uh, of doing the, the, the real estate thing because building up clients and all that kind of stuff uh, it, 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 it takes some time. Uh, babes in Christ, babies in Christ. Uh, how do you petition help on crowdfunding? 
I'm not sure what petition to help by crowd. I guess it's getting people to your site. You know, and, and that's the hard thing in crowdfunding. It costs nothing to get the site up and everything, but now you have to be creative and, and, and get people there. And, and that's the whole thing about crowdfunding. How many people can you get there? And that's why it, you have to be creative ways to do it. Uh, work with nonprofit organizations so that a half of the money goes to you know, these people or whatever, or, or actually be, uh, or start a crowdfunding site with these people, you know, uh, that's it. So it was camping gear or something like that. Maybe you go with a boys club and you want to do a crowdfunding site to get camping gear for the boys club, but you're selling camping gear. So you want to do a crowdfunding website together with the boys club, which is a nonprofit organization and, and people, uh, go into the crowdfunding because they want to help the boys club, but you're getting the sale of the camping business. See, there's always more than one way, you know, uh, to do anything in life. And that's what you have to mean. What does it mean if your private student loans, uh, say on the credit report paid in full as a charge off? Not really sure uh, what, what to do. There's two places to check. One is any question about your student loan, do not have anybody say, do not have anybody charge you money to help you with your student loans. I just sent out a newsletter a few minutes ago, actually, uh, about that. And, and that really comes from, um, from the Department of Education, who, who uh, you know, in charge of all the student loans and all this, the people who um, uh, help you with student loans. I mean, they, they run, and, they, and they're, they have big headlines. Do not pay anybody to help you with your student loans. So uh, a place to find out, a couple of places. One is go to consumerfinance.gov, consumerfinance.gov. And the other place is uh, uh, your local HUD counseling because they do credit stuff, anything to do with finance and your credit debt and stuff like that. And, and consumerfinance.gov will tell you all your options uh, about, um, you know, how, how you get part of it forgiven. There's all kinds of programs, you know, that you're eligible for. And what these hucksters do, these sharks from the financial service industry, tells you about stuff that anybody can find out about and do themselves. And they, of course, they got to make money to do it because they're spending a lot of money in Google trying to find you. So uh, you want to cut out the middleman, you do it yourself and, and, and learn the system. Uh, and, and also, uh, They'll tell you about the student loan ombudsman. It's an 800 number you could always call for help. I don't have it right with me. But if you put student loan ombudsman, make sure it's a .gov number or a .gov website that tells you about it. Uh, and it's not some bank pretending, pretending to help people, you know, with their student loans when they're really after your money. Uh, so make sure you do that. And that's a student loan ombudsman uh, with a Sean bachelor's degree has any value. I live in California and found a program that is online for fat twitch for five thousand a year and I already have one year done total cost is fifteen thousand dollars. Well uh, check uh Sean for uh bachelor's degree but I mean it's always good to learn, you know. Uh, and if it's any value, the real answer is depend. I think it's getting of less value because the price is so bloody high. You're smart at least you got it for $15,000, but I would also look at, look at University of the People, uh, University of the People, that's free, and they only charge you $100 for taking a test at the end of the semester. So it costs you a lot, it costs you maybe $1,000 or $2,000 a year versus $5,000, very reputable. Uh, I don't know who you're talking to. I mean, a lot of, I would, I would go to junior colleges and things like that that have online program before I'd go to, I would never go to a for-profit university anywhere. You know, you don't want to do that. Uh, and bachelor's in business. Yeah, actually the University of the People has a bachelor's in business and they also have an MBA. You get an MBA from them. Very reputable. I have interviews uh, of the owners when he started this thing. Uh, they're hooked up with University of California uh, system at Berkeley and everything. I mean, they, these people have on their board of famous presidents of, of uh, major universities and everything. And also, if you want to go overseas is a cheap way to go. If you get on a plane and, and, and go to France, you go to school for $1,000 a month, a, a semester, you know, and that's all the courses are in English too. That's what's so neat about uh, going to school in Europe. They also want to speak English. So all the, all the higher education now is, is being in English. And there's a database of 30,000 programs uh, that you could access to find out, you know, you want to study bartending. Okay, you get a degree in bartending, <laughs> in where, what country in Europe you think? 
Ireland. Who drinks more than anybody? The Irish. So they actually have degrees in bartending. Now that's a hell of a degree to get, is it? So that'll be cool. Uh, so anybody else got a question or should I go and work for a while and, and, and see if somebody comes back? Boy, I just talked my head off here for a while. How long was that? Uh, I'm going to get it. Oh, I'm going to get the LG short froth projector. Jason, you're still out. Good for you. Wait, you anything, man. You're just going to be, you know, a dog on a, you know, what, pants leg of somebody, and you're not going to go away until you get it. Uh, started streaming 36 minutes again. So I've been talking straight 36 minutes. Uh, so you guys don't talk. You just sit there and tickle, tickle, tickle the keys, right? Now I got to do a report. I'm in the middle of a report with somebody in Oregon. So they want to do a, a housing report. They want all the money and help to buy a house. Let me see where in Oregon that is. Uh, got to find an order. So uh, you're looking behind how the sausage factory, how we make sausages here at, at doing research. Uh, that's why I see it takes me about two weeks to do a research report because I, I do all the research myself. I want to learn all this stuff. You know, I want to give you the best I got here. Um, and I feel that's the only way I can do it. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, this guy just ordered again. That's nice. Uh, Copper strikes, okay. Let's see, where is that? Okay, Richard, I think I did that. Let's see, Richard, I did his, I think. Where was you? Yes, in South Carolina. Okay, I did a report for him on all the like 300 sources of uh, websites to help keep money coming in. These are grants and other, uh, you know, from federal, state, local, and nonprofit organizations, plus money that's uh, on the internet, the stuff we were talking about, like Airbnb and all these shared economy stuff, you know, taking care of pets, all, all those places to make money. William, oh, I see. Yeah, Marina. So she lives, let's see where she is. Um, Oregon. Okay. So, right. So I hope, you know, uh, I don't have to do this. Okay. So in Oregon, I'm going to show her, you know, like 150 to 200 sources of money to help to buy property, fix up property, be real estate investor, all that. Uh, Okay, uh, Queen Mac, do you have any ideas that could help getting assistance paying for the insured drink that is prescribed by the doctors in South Carolina? Wow, so that's a medical treatment, insured. Um, lots of places. Uh, um, let's see, I mean, what I would do would be... Um, Let's see, there's like a prescription. So that's not, but it's not a prescription. You don't need a prescription. So it's a medical expense. There are nonprofit organizations that help pay for medical expenses. Yeah, uh, and they give grants for all kind of medical expenses. And there's a bunch of them. I got them in my report that I send out. And if you want to know how I find these things, <coughs> go to lesco.com and look, the, look for the uh, report I have on, on finding free help uh, for uh, medical bills, dental bills, and healthcare bills. Actually, I, I have a uh, an instructional video, and that's probably cheaper, over on Udemy. Do you know Udemy? Uh, U-D-E-M-Y dot com. So go to Udemy dot com. Let me write that in here. Uh, uh, and search Lesco. And you'll see all, my, all the programs, the, uh, the, the, the um, what do you call it? The uh, courses that I have on Udemy. And I have a course there of how to find health information. And, and when, the, when you order the course there, you also download a video 
book of sources. So I have a video book of all the links that are in the sources. It tells you how to, uh, the, the instructions tell you, you know, the videos that you watch, a whole series of videos tells you how to find things. So it's for medical, it's for dental, it's for uh, uh, pet care and everything, how to find the free help. Uh, and then um, there's a download ebook that you get with it. And, you, and then you have the links that you can actually tap into uh, right there. So it's you to me, let's go. Maybe I could find that one on uh, pets. I mean, healthcare. Yeah, okay, here it is. Oh. Well, I gotta log out because otherwise you get me as the instructor, not as the, <laughs> not as the whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna search Lesko, L-E-S-K-O. What have we got there? 10 mistakes, you to me. Yeah, okay, there it is. Seven lectures, so it tells you all about that. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay, Here, here's the, here's the course. You see it? Do you see it, uh, Queen Mac? Do you see that? Uh, I gave you a link right to the course. Uh, okay, let's do it. Probably a quick question, man. Uh, do you Facebook treat business owners? Like, why do Facebook treat business owners by like decks? Because all they want to do is make money. <laughs> they don't care about anything else. <laughs> they pretend they do. Okay, what grants are available for free land? Uh, actually, remember one thing about free land is if you're a nonprofit, you could get surplus land that the government has. They could give that to nonprofit organizations for free. So always remember that. Uh, that's a source. I mean, you could get actually uh, from the government, you could get uh, free Jeeps, free you know, uh, uh, computers, free furniture, free bed. I got a whole bunch of free beds for some nuns up in Connecticut once. And, and that was fun going through that stuff. Uh, bachelor's degree of any value, covered that. What does it mean if your private student loans are on credit? Yeah, I think I sent you somewhere on that. Don't really know. Uh, capital, hola, ha, high capital property. Been around a while. Quick response, Matthew. Why do you face straight? Yeah, okay. Uh, we love to trade on the stock market, but I have lost so much in the past. Do you have any suggestions or great ideas? Yeah, <laughs> don't trade in the stock market. <laughs> that's gambling. You want to gamble? Fine. Yeah. But you're playing against, that's like playing, you know, that's like going to, oh, I want to play football. I think I'll play in the Super Bowl. You're going to get your ass kicked, right? <laughs> These people up there who make it all the money you know, are thinking about this stuff 24 hours a day for 50 years. And, and they still may lose, yeah. So what makes you think that you're, oh boy, I, man, I'm smart as they are. Yeah, well, you, uh, I don't know. I mean, you wanna play the game and learn it and then start, start losing, losing more money. You willing to do that? Okay, if you're not, <laughs> I just quit. I would love to trade on the stock market. Okay, that's Alan again. Uh, you to me, uh, let's go, thanks. Yes, I have it, thank you. Frank Diaz, where do I find interest on forgivable loans? Most of the forgivable loans, I mean, there's a lot of places, but most of them I've found are in real estate. So you wanna buy houses, fix up houses, stuff like that. That's where most of them is, because what the, the, the point behind that is they wanna give money to people who are gonna stay and not uh, so much as flip the houses, but stay there. So they forgive the loan as long as you stay there a few years, see? And, and so that, that's where I saw most of it. it uh, and it's local. See, the main book for getting money from the government is called the Catalog of Federal Domestic Assistance. You know, and you could go there and that gives you the basis for every government, federal government money program. But the problem is that you don't find much there uh, because it's chunks of money that most of it goes to the state, then goes to individuals. You know? Uh, so that's where you have to go locally. And that's why it takes so long in doing my research for people because 
I just, I just don't go to Washington and find the program. I have to go to your city and I have to go to county and dig around in there. Uh, it, it, it's really gold mining, you know, kind of thing. It's panning for gold. That's what this stuff is. And you can learn it too, you know, if you just do it. That's why if you go to uh, uh, lesco.com slash five free, that's a free report I have that you could download and shows you the starting places that I use for when I do my custom research for clients. Yeah. So when I'm starting to uh, do custom research, I mean, I, I go to one of those five or two or three of those five people and, and, uh, and, and start there because they're all local. See, this is how to find local people that will help you do that. Like your local library has a database of all the grants that you could just, but these are not government grants because uh, these are grants from um, foundations that don't have websites and there's hundreds of thousands of them. But your library has a database that costs thousands of dollars to use, but you know, your library paid that money for you to use it. So that's what I do. I show you how to do that. Uh, kind of thing. Oh, somebody says my battery's low, so I better get plugged in and see. Hold on. No, it's not that. Let's see. Where do we go? Kokomo, let's do this. Part of the drive money set up for victims of foreclosed fraud. Uh, yes, there's a whole bunch. I'm not really sure. I would call, uh, contact the uh, consumerfinance.gov, uh, consumerfinance.gov. Uh, I would contact them. What I would do actually, probably the, the easiest way <laughs> is to call your congressman. Okay, your congressman has staff people that find this out for you. So you contact your library and get the local number of your congressman. And as there are a whole bunch of banks in this, and I don't know if it's, um, you know, Federal Trade Commission or Justice Department or whoever is the main person bringing these people to justice. Yeah, and that's where you get that list. So call your congressman's office, they would know, and, and, and they'll get back to you uh and, and do it because they 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 do research for constituents every day like this yeah and, and they don't charge any thoughts about investing in index fund yeah the index funds are certainly better than anything else because then, then you have to think about it uh and, and you can't do uh ps thank you for the response uh uh where do i find interest don't forgive the loans okay you got that uh uh, thoughts about investing in index funds. Vanguard allows you to invest just three. Yeah, index funds are, you know, a reasonable objective. You want to be in the market somehow. You know, doing one-on-one -on -one and trying to figure that stuff out. I mean, that's, you know, you get killed, I think, and unless you really plan to do it as a career, you know, and then, and then that's just the answer really is just maybe. Uh, you want to invest in, I, mean, I think you want to invest in yourself. You want to contribute. You make money by contributing to society. So how do you develop the skills and the techniques or whatever that you need to contribute more to society so it comes back to you yeah uh that people think what you're doing is worthwhile yeah and, and, and that's in developing you not developing fat cats on wall street <laughs> they figured out how to <laughs> screw the system to get money you i think the rest of us want to give to society and make it better and then if, if you do a good job you get paid well for it and you have to have the skills to do that so start investing in yourself and getting skills that you could contribute more and that way you, you you're more flexible in what you do in life because you can always go somewhere else and get paid because now you have skills that are marketable and, and that's the way to invest is in you uh and then when you have too much money and you don't know what the hell to do with it and you want to invest it then you invest in younger people because that's the future. You're going to be gone. I'm going to be gone. Everybody's going to be gone eventually. So when you get to that point, then we got to help younger people uh, you know, create new opportunities, you know, with new things. Uh, thoughts about, okay, uh, do you have any ideas about drop shipping? Uh, yeah, I, I think don't drop anything you ship because a lot of it may be fragile. So if you drop that, yeah, no, that's a bad joke. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, the important thing is finding the right thing you want to sell. 
things don't happen without passion, I feel. I mean, they do happen and there's anomalies and uh, examples you could find for anything you want. That's how I did infomercials. I would find somebody who did this and got this money in 12 seconds and <laughs> put them on TV. Everybody believes they could do that too. But in reality, most of us are gonna have to work like hell to do anything. And, and so how do you get to a place where you're willing to work like hell and want to work like hell? Working like hell is fun. That's in doing something that you want to do. So uh, I think not so much in drop shipping, but it, it is finding, deciding what you think is good to sell. Now, all these companies out there say, oh, I have 500 products for you to sell. Ah, gee, they, they're just making money and, and they're going to charge you money to do something. And if they charge you money up front, just don't. Yeah, that's all I think, because then you're wasting time uh, and you want to learn what you think you should be doing, not what they should be doing, you know, uh, kind of thing. How do I get my part of the drive money for victims of book? Oh, I can't tell that. Uh, do you know where I could find trustable loans in the amount of $10,000 with low APR and secured personal loans? Is that net credit good? I don't know net credit what that is. Uh, I have a list of about 40 or 50 peer-to-peer -peer loans. Uh, if you're thinking about a loan, I would investigate these more than anything else. Uh, they're better, faster, cheaper, nicer, and everything than anything you'll find in any institution. Peer-to-peer -peer loans. And like I said, there are 40 different companies. I've seen peer-to-peer -peer loans like, like the lady with the mortgage. We'll give you a $50,000 loan and you pay it through having somebody Airbnb. There's loans for business that um, all, all they want to know, they don't care if you have any uh, financial statements at all. Just, just give me a list of your customers. You have customers, they give you a loan. <laughs> and then there's other places where you get a loan and, and, and your customers uh, pay for things a year in advance. And, and that helps pay back for loans. There's new ways of doing everything now. Yeah. And that's with the internet stuff. Uh, is there a class, uh, Chase class settlement action for the West Coast? I don't know. The, uh, what I would do is call your congressman, you know, because they could find that out very easily. They're researchers and their staff, and that's all they do all day is help people like you uh, uh, to, to, to get that kind of information. Uh, I mean, I, I would probably just send you around and I don't really know. Uh, I was wondering if there's anything uh, on vehicle repair grants in West Virginia. Yes, I just did a report. If you go to uh, udemy.com and, and put in uh, Lesco, search Lesco, you'll see a, a course there on how to get money and funding to fix up a car, okay? Uh, buy a car, fix up a car. I mean, nothing's guaranteed, but this is every place that, you know, uh, uh, that would have a possibility, you know, in no matter where you live. And I, I have all the directions for how to find out the, about these organizations, because there are organizations, there are nonprofits that fix up things for free. There are nonprofits that get money for free even, and things like that. So it, it takes some research and I teach you how to do that. Uh, let me, I'm going to give you the, the link to that here too. Uh, okay. Do you see that link? Uh, is that Alan? Oh no. Uh, no, uh, Keona Mail. <laughs> what is that? Um, in West Virginia. See that link? Oh, Alan C. Oh, Alan C is a drop shipping. Okay, Alan C. Thanks. Um, yeah, and, and actually on the drop shipping thing, Alan, you may, may want to see, I have a report on, on a, uh, how to start a, a store on the internet doing anything. So if you're interested in, you know, uh, doing a store about drop shipping, anything like that, if you go to lesco.com slash tutor, uh, let's see. Let me see where that is. Uh, let's see, it'd be under starting a business, nonprofit or invention. By the way, yeah, never go to an invention company. Uh, there's two, two reports really. Uh, you're looking to sell on the internet or whatever. One is, is free resources for your business. That's a $79 product. And then I have one that's, uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. where is this other one? Why don't I see it? Uh, ba -ba. You're hiding. Oh, that's a featured product. No wonder I don't want a featured product. 
Oh, uh, for 9.95, yeah, this one. I get all the sources for, uh, you know, deciding on what product to buy, how to you set it up on the internet, all these kinds of things. So you don't get ripped off by somebody, you know, who's out there saying that, you know, just buy all this stuff and, and that's all you need. No, you, you need your creativity and it's not gonna work unless you use some creativity, you know, uh, because that's what makes it unique. What's unique about you is what is the best thing you have to offer to anybody else. So that's important. Uh, and that's what I think we all have to do in life. Like this is me inside. See, the question mark soon. It took me so many failures to get down to this. And when I start down, getting down to the stuff that was really me, that's when things started happening. You know? and, and, and life is living inside out. I, I'm sorry, I didn't receive the link. I just sent the link now, I think. What link? Was that uh, G O L? What uh, I forget what that was about. What was it? You said you didn't receive the link. What was the link about? I think I didn't see it. I can't find you offhand. Go back too far. Uh, anyway, I was wondering why. Oh, the grants. Oh, oh, I see. You didn't. Huh? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Uh, Oh, for cars. Yes, got it. Okay, I got that now. Okay, here's the car. Money for car, car repairs, and car payments. Okay, now that's right. Everything I do, I mean, I can't guarantee you get money on anything. Nobody can. Anybody who's saying that, you know, is, is stupid or a liar. <laughs> but I do show you the options. What I want to do for people is show you options and what you make of them. Because a lot of times, remember, when you're looking for something or whatever, what a lot of times it is that like the sources you find really leads you to the one you should have found the first time, but you didn't know to ask that. So that's why these are the best sources I find. I've been doing this for 40 years now or more, you know, uh, finding free sources of money, uh, help and information. Uh, so the, it, I can't think of anybody else to give you anything better <laughs> than this. And, and people uh, who do are really even charging you thousands and hundreds of dollars and given you worse, you know, as far as I'm concerned. But again, uh, that's a biased viewpoint. Uh, but anyway, so anybody else have any questions or vehicle repair grant? Yeah, that's it. All right. Vehicle repair grant. Yeah. Um, yeah, because a lot of, I mean, there's even some states even have money to buy automobile insurance because see that stops people from getting to work. So that's why the government is there to help. They want to keep you self-employed I mean, you have a job and all, all this kind of stuff you know uh, so that's why these programs are there and it, it, it's not just to throw away money because if you if you're staying employed then then you're paying taxes and don't they don't have to worry about you you know uh things like that and, and you help society and create and, uh we do more things as a society and all this kind of stuff uh, oh, and sign up. If you haven't signed up for a subscriber, so you know that I'm coming, so you can sign up on my YouTube subscription list. Because sometimes what I do, and I'm doing it less, uh, is do a little notice. Like, I'll be here in about an hour. Hi, Matthew. Do you have any programs or disabled people to gain extra time and just disability? Uh, Deanna, yes, I, I think the best thing for disabled is really what's going on in the shared economy. You know, uh, if you go, you know, let's go tutor. Uh, no, let's go.com slash tutor. I get confused on what I do. <laughs> uh, let me, let me show you that report. It's really 140 programs to make extra money using the internet. Now, you know, you hear that all the time. I know. Uh, and it sounds like, you know, every other huckster on the internet, but to me, this is different mainly because everything i'm going to show you costs absolutely nothing you know so uh, it is all at no cost all these things that i'm going to talk to you about cost absolutely nothing so this is what you want to do because if you're paying money to people you know and trying this trying to throw in a couple hundred dollars there a couple hundred dollars there you're you're way out of money long before you ever find what really works for you what works for you is going to be for uh, works different somebody else and whatever. Uh, do you see that link, Cassie? Uh, 
or no, not Cassie. Who who needed that? Uh, Terry, uh, Deanna, <laughs> Deanna, Deanna, Terry. Do you see that link? Because I don't see it because I sent it from another program. I can't see if that you see it because it's sort of um, blocked out a little bit. Uh, but do you see that link there, uh, Deanna? Deanna, you think you do? You think you do? You think you do or not? Deanna? Ah, oh, I'm on the YouTube. Yeah, but I, I, on the chat, do you see the YouTube though? I mean, do you see the link? I mean, you don't have to click it just as long as you see it. Uh, Deanna, you see that link? That's why I just want to make sure that uh, you, you see the link that I put there. Yeah. And that's the important thing. As if not. Okay, here's my links. I don't know, you guys are sick of me yet. I got to do research soon, though. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing the talk. Let's go dot com slash talk. That's where you and I can talk for 10, 15 minutes uh, and I could point you and I send you links of the best places for you to get money for whatever your item is that you need money and help for. Uh, and here's the tutor. Yeah, and then let's go tutor is where I'll, I do the research. And also off the, you know, there's either downloaded reports that are already done or things I do custom research is the expensive ones that, you know, that are 50 and uh, 70, 80 dollars that are customized and take about two weeks to, uh, to complete. And that's what I spend most of my life doing now is those reports and I have to get to them three o'clock already guys, I, I better get going and, and, and doing this. I'll be back. I mean, this is pretty helpful, at least to me. Uh, it seemed worthwhile. I mean, you had legitimate questions. A lot of times I do this and just get weird people, you know, saying stuff that I know what to do, what they're talking about, whether it's pornographic or whatever, you know. So it, it, it's, uh, I try to value my time, but uh, if I can really help, and then that's what today, uh, uh, that these are real questions people had. And, and uh, that's all I want to do is take the information I, 40 or 50 years now, I'm not looking, I'm already saying 50 is probably 40. Uh, and that's the marketing guy in me here. And, and, and get it out to people so you know about it because we all have problems to solve. And, and I think that we solve them together somehow. That, uh, that's what we're all about. You know, we're all here to give. And that's the nicest thing in the world. The most selfish thing in the world is giving. <laughs> it is. So that's what I hope to do the rest of my life. So I'll see you for 20 more years at least.